turns to heartbreak for the family of a missing Massachusetts man. They thought the loved one they lost 12 years ago may have been found living on the streets in California. New Center 5's Jorge Quiroga is live in Cambridge tonight with the latest twist in this mystery. Jorge? Heather, from the outside, he had it all on the football team at Harvard, graduating with honors, now missing for 12 years. His family finally getting their first possible lead. So show me. That's the picture that was sent to us. This is the photo that got Angela Wallace's hopes up. What about it makes it look like Michael? His eyes. His eyes are Michael's eyes. Praying it was her son Michael, missing since 2003. An acquaintance in San Diego spotting this homeless man, something else uncannily familiar. It's almost the same shirt. Isn't it amazing? That's Michael Wallace on the right on one of his last family photos, wearing a similar plaid shirt. And you see that man homeless, you were thinking. The 12 years he's been on the street and we couldn't help him. From Lemonster to Harvard and on to California, married with a great job at Sun Microsystems. Yeah, Michael's a good looking kid. He's very athletic, very smart. Um, I think he had a great personality. Everybody loved him. The big smile masking clinical depression. His marriage unraveled. He got laid off. One day he just walked away. It's a pain on the inside that you cannot understand. Four days of hope finally dashed. The homeless man found again an ID. His name also Michael, but not Angela's son. My daughter has located that family and talked to them, and they knew he was out there and they knew he was having issues, but they thanked us very much for contacting them. Michael turning 42 last month. The Wallace is praying someday to get the same call. In the meantime, they're turning their pain into something positive by creating Michael's Run, an annual road race to raise funds and awareness about mental illness. Live in Cambridge, Jorge Quiroga, WCBB News Center 5.